Oh shit, we're driving, getting food, and talking about business. We're back. What is up guys? So this video, if you clicked on it, I don't know why. There's no SEO strategy. There's not really much value you're gonna get out of this video. And honestly, it might waste your time. But you're watching this video and you clicked on it for a weird reason, so thank you. I used to do these videos a lot where I talked to you guys about business, my personal life, and I just stopped. I completely stopped and I just became, you know, less personable. You know, lately I've just been thinking too much about how to grow on YouTube and strategy and optimization, when in reality, I just wanna talk to you guys, which is what we're gonna do today. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how I'm running literally three different companies at this current moment. It sounds like a flex, but in reality, I'm really just stressed the freak out. This is how it's going. Basically, like three years ago, I started making YouTube videos and teaching people how to do it, and I didn't expect it to like grow to, I think, wherever we are now. I think we just hit 288,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much. But yeah, I really didn't plan for it. And I don't know if you care about my whole life story, but I dropped out of high school because of it it grew really fast and now we're here today so in the time span of like three years ago when I started this channel and then now I've basically started to create businesses and a lot of them failed the first business I really 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 wanted to build was an app and honestly when I built this app I launched it like last year and it was fine it's just I wasn't as passionate about it it really just flopped because I just self-sabotaged the business and just got less interested about building an app so I'm basically always bored and because of that I've started many projects and I don't really go through it unless I really really love it and I'm really happy to say guys that today I am just genuinely super excited and passionate about the three businesses I am running around and I, I feel like I need to talk about it because literally I just hide this part of my life from you guys for no good reason okay so the first business that literally turns on my lights and allows me to make videos is my consulting so lately I've been helping brands and like actually like influencers launch their e-commerce business so basically help them set up a store and it's really been going great oh by the way if you guys don't know I'm going to Popeyes right now I'm trying their chicken sandwich because I'm hungry and I haven't ate yet, okay? Okay, but anyways, basically, long story short, I help people create an online store and more specifically, I've built a software that helps you sell more products and it's called PBJ and the software basically is a text message platform for you to just notify people when you launch a product. It's a great way to build engagement with your customer and it's a really new technology that we've been building for the past year and a half. So PBJ, we've been testing it with a few people and I'm so excited to announce that our customers that we have that are using the platform are going to be Haley, which she's a good friend of mine. Haley's a YouTuber with 2 million subscribers. And then I don't know if I'm allowed to announce, but we're also working with another TikToker who has almost like a million followers and they're all launching their apparel line and we've been helping with that process. We also have a ton of other creators coming as well. So that literally is the thing that turns my lights on and I'm really excited because we're starting to grow and I'm actually genuinely passionate about it. You guys don't even know, it was so hard for me to find a way to make money without feeling guilty. <laughs> and I told this before to you guys, but like, I hate courses like I knew that when I left high school I had to make money somehow and a lot of people told me to make a course and I don't know if you've seen it but there's a lot of people who teach like classes online and that's totally fine it's just for me I felt really bad and guilty and I literally would throw up every time I saw a course so just like think about it right like I don't mean to be like a privileged bitch but I did leave high school and I feel like I did have to prove myself at some point and I don't know maybe making a lot of money is not a way to value yourself but I really needed to Pull shit together. So I couldn't sell a course because that made me throw up. I don't want to get a job right now, right? So the only way for me to make money was to turn YouTube into an actual company. And I created PBJ because of it. And I know a lot of you guys are confused because I started with the app, I did a lot of things, and we're, we're here now. We're, we're, we're having software. And I'm really excited about it because I actually love everything about it. I think text message marketing is one of the most powerful ways to, no one really cares. Literally yesterday, I couldn't breathe. I basically had really bad anxiety, I guess that's the word, because there was just a lot of pressure and Jade literally couldn't breathe and it wasn't from the asthma but I took some rest and now I feel a little bit better but I do go through a ton of times where I literally don't know what to do with my life and I guess it's called a mental breakdown and lately it's been quite often I'm not gonna lie because I know that running three businesses is not wise at once but they all coordinate with each other and it's just a lot to make sure every moving piece works so the second business that I'm currently running I kind of feel everything as well is called the green room and if you guys don't know green room literally started two months ago so like it's nothing new it's like really still really new I can't even call a company yet but like we have a few a whole team around it so the green room is basically a show where we interview how youtubers make their videos and it's a media company and I'm really excited because we have a website now you guys can get free resources and it's just the ultimate way to learn and build a community online 
So it's just the ultimate way to meet your favorite YouTubers and also to learn from them. And I'm really excited because we launched it literally like two months ago. So it's very new and again, I'm really excited about it and I can definitely see myself doing it for a long time because it allows me to talk to people and connect with more of you guys. Where am I going? I literally am driving in a circle right now. Oh, I'm going to Popeyes. I don't know if this makes sense, but basically the whole goal with the green room is to basically become like the marketing for PBJ because the biggest thing is if we want more people to help with their online store, like we need to reach out to more creators and the best way is by creating community. So the green room is kind of like fueling the marketing for PBJ, if that makes sense. So in my, my, my weird ass mind, I can kind of like, you know, I can justify the decision I'm making by running that second company. So that's the second thing I'm working on. Okay. It's actually really fun. That's the thing. I like keep saying I'm stressed, but I'm I like genuinely enjoy the work I'm doing, which is so much better than before. Before I was doing a lot of work, but I hated it. Thank God there's a drive-through. Oh my God, I've never been to Popeyes before. I don't know if you guys can see. They have a chicken sandwich. I'm pretty sure. I just been seeing it all over the internet, and I want to try it with you guys. I wonder if it's good. Have you guys tried the chicken sandwich at Popeyes? Because if you have, let me know. If you haven't, comment below, and we'll get our first reaction. There's literally so much hype around this freaking sandwich. It better be good. The third business I'm currently working on is called the Eat like and the eat like is basically a food box company why am i in here i don't know okay so basically <laughs> you have to understand i know it sounds like i'm doing a lot but i swear it's <laughs> i really am like super insecure that people think i'm too spread out because i don't think i am but i feel like people think i am i'm really insecure about it but i swear i i know there's a plan and tr strategy behind it so this is the idea okay so the eat like is something that i started like through four months ago so this is again newer with the green room but idea is you can eat like your favorite creator and we take influencers that actually use our software pbj and you guys have the ability to create your own subscription box and we curate it and you get to have food so your audience can buy it so the whole idea behind it is basically for you to not only sell merch but now you can sell your own favorite foods and get paid for it if you're a creator and we partner with brands to fuel the products something that i was really lucky with is i used to consult for like a lot of food brands and i would Help them build their Instagram pages and, and stuff. And I kind of said, hey, let's start this food company to, to kind of reach more customers. So that's the Eat Like, and it's fairly new. We are just like prototyping it and it hasn't launched yet. So I'll let you guys know in the future how that goes. I think the biggest thing I've realized throughout this is uh, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, <laughs> Anyways, so to summarize it currently if anyone is curious because I've literally never talked about it and I probably sound so suspicious as fuck currently I'm helping brands grow their e-commerce store using software PBJ I have a show called the green room and I have a food box now called the eat like and it's it, it works uh, who knows maybe next year I'm gonna come back and be like scratch all these ideas I hate it like that's my issue like for me to start a business I feel guilty all the time by charging people money and for the first time knock on wood but I genuinely believe in the product so damn much that I want to go through with it like originally with my app I couldn't charge people money because I just felt bad like I genuinely threw up when I was charging you guys $50 which is probably in a grand scheme of thing nothing but inside I was crying I'm not even exaggerating like I felt so bad charging people people like 50 or $100 for like Instagram growth stuff because I was like oh, why would someone buy this like it doesn't help someone like you can just google some shit and <laughs> now like I don't know like honestly I probably should have charged more money because I've gotten into some shit with taxes and yeah but I love the things I'm working on right now like although we haven't been proven we're still working with amazing people I'm just so excited like so damn excited because I know this product will help people and that's the re reason why I started a business in the first place like yeah I want to make money to prove myself and obviously pay the bills because I don't have school or backup plan but the most important thing is like genuinely adding value to someone's life and that's what I think I didn't have before and I literally if you look at my YouTube videos I could never talk about business at all on my channel because I was literally about to throw up and yeah we're at the drive through by the way all right so with that being said I asked you guys to ask me some questions on the Instagrams so let's see what you guys said so I got a question from Hal Mawal <laughs> and she asked how did you get your first client the way I got our first client for PBJ is I basically reached out to a ton of brands and influencers like how is your merch or online store going I have a tool that can get you more sales and I literally cold message people I'm not joking there's a little thing in my room I'll take a picture of it and I email one person every single day I've been doing it for a little bit consistently but like even if I am so tired one night I have to send an email to someone I do that every single day and I just get my name out there and I literally just ask people hey this is my product what do you think I try not to be too pushy I'm like can I just hop on a phone call to see if you even like it like I'm not even trying to sell them shit I'm just trying to give them value and I've been doing that for approximately consistently like a month but like 
like I've been doing this probably for like a two years just DMing and outreaching and that's exactly what I did if you guys want a whole video about how I DM or outreach people let me know in the comments and I will make that video it's just consistency and a lot of perseverance I got a question from Muhammad asking thoughts on Instagram pulling off the likes and I love it I love it I love it like something about me is like I hate the fact that a number defines your worth and I think now obviously we're still able to see how many likes we get but the consumer can just focus on the content and we can just stop comparing ourselves so I'm just so so excited Ooh, my client just texted me Ew. I get really nervous because <laughs> whenever my clients text me because right now is a time where everyone's launching product and I just want to make sure I'm performing the best I'm always afraid that people yell at me so let me just quickly check okay we're good we're good okay so basically I'm going to LA this week and then maybe going to Seattle next week for a, one of my clients for PBJ and it, 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 things are happening I'm surprised I'm still alive I still need to pay my taxes okay <laughs> that's a whole other conversation oh my god dude this year I got fricked by the IRS and that's another story time let me know if you guys want to see that too so I got a question from Hadi asking how do you get off your ass after shit happens and you have no motivation literally I love this question because shit always happens to me oh welcome back to pop up we're gonna get you we'll be right with you okay oh my god they have the chicken sandwich oh my god I probably should not be eating this I swear to god I don't eat this every day can I please get a classic chicken sandwich please okay. just the sandwich right. that's all thank you 433 at the window please Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so if you're watching this video right now and you feel not motivated because shit just happened, listen here. This is what I've learned and it literally changed my life, okay? Always expect the worst. Literally, my expectation is dog shit. Like, whenever I launch, for example, the Eat Like or PBJ, I always think so much worse. I always think that the worst thing is gonna happen. Like, for example, we recently launched for the Eat Like, the product, and I was literally expecting like one or zero sales. And when we hit 20 sales, I was like, damn! We did that! And my team and I were like, because it's something just so important that like you have to understand that you're gonna be successful I know this is cliche, but I genuinely believe if you work at something every single day It's just a matter of time, right? You have to keep yourself in the game And one of the best weird ways to kind of make sure you're in the game long enough is just to expect dog shit And you will never be disappointed like I am happy with just learning like when your expectation is just to learn You will never give up a lot of people put expectation on a certain number of followers and money and trust me Like I do that a lot, but now I realize like when you expect nothing you're the happiest person on earth I have no expectation at the same time that brought me to ton of success and I think something that's important is always to push the limit but also to you know what sometimes you can't control everything and allow yourself to expect to learn and value learning versus results and that will literally get you so motivated so yeah expect dog shit because it really is motivating that you know you, you can accomplish minimal things I think when you kind of have small wins you get more motivated I think when you set goals too high you stop and you realize that I'm done literally anything can happen with more time so just pace yourself and adjust the goal accordingly guys you don't even know we're literally so close to the drive through I hope I have enough money <laughs> Hello. hi thank you have okay, a good one safe. all right we're gonna try this bad boy so like I was saying oh there's a seagull move uh, this poor bird is right underneath my car I don't know what to do I don't know what to do please move I don't want to hit you this lighting oh my god that's better so this leads me to my very exciting announcement, guys. So I knew that I was leaving a ton of you guys in the dark with my businesses. Like, I don't think anyone actually knows what I do day to day, which is why I'm so, so excited that this Friday I am launching a brand new YouTube series that's gonna be documenting exactly how I launch one of my clients' brands. Her name's Natalie. She's an amazing, talented filmmaker and she's launching her apparel line and we're using my software PBJ, but you're gonna see the entire process from start to finish of creating clothing to launching a store online, to selling product and optimizing. I wanna take you guys through the wildest journey. So with that being said, I'm so excited to announce our series, How to Start a Clothing Line, and here's a quick sneak peek. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna celebrate. I'm gonna try my sandwich, and I'm gonna let you know my reaction. Yeah, let's see this little, oh, she's big. <gasps> She looks really good. Wow. Wow. Why is it kind of small though? So this is a chicken Popeye sandwich and we're going to give it a try now. So honest thoughts. <coughs> it's really, it's really salty, but it's really good. This bun is better than Chick-fil-A. The chicken is a lot more salty, but I like this better. It's just, I don't like the saltiness. I don't know. I'm conflicted. 
Do you ever eat food and you forget you're eating food because your mind is thinking about something else? So you just forget you're eating it and then you eat the food and it disappears and like where did it go? Yeah. Okay guys, so I have a meeting in like five minutes. I'm so excited for the future guys. Please subscribe if you're new here. Like it's gonna be a roller coaster because I don't even know if this is gonna be anything successful <laughs> to be honest. Like all these businesses could definitely flop. So I'm just really excited to document this if anything because maybe you can learn from my failure and if there's anything I learned in these past few months is literally trust your gut. If you do not feel good about launching a video or product or you feel guilty, literally trust your gut. So many people can give you advice on what to do. By the end of the day, you have the best decision ever and just trust yourself and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, Darmination. Love you.